Hi Air Signs, welcome to my channel. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we're going to be doing your um, full moon energy readings to see how you guys are feeling, how you guys are doing during this Scorpio full moon. Everybody's been in their feel, so let's just check it out. Sorry, I was checking to see if it was actually recording. <laughs> so we're going to start with my Everyday Witch Tarot. I love this deck. It's like my favorite. So for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini... Let's see what the universe has for you guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Leave your comments below how this video resonated with you. And the contact info is below if you want to get a private reading. It's all there for you. So I don't have to keep repeating myself. <laughs> so let's see. Universe your guides. Let's see what you guys have for my air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, that one wants to come out. Ooh, the Five of Wands. You guys have the Five of Wands here. So some of you are going to be <laughs> fighting over whose ingredient is better, who has the last word, who knows what's best for this and that. Could be friends and family. You guys are fighting over, uh, no, my thing is better or no, my way is better, you know. Oh, family gatherings. It could be during maybe um, Mother's Day, I see. You guys are probably fighting over who's going to bring what. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of fire energy, though. You could be dealing with another Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sag. A lot of fire energy going on here. Just don't be so caught up in uh, seeing what ingredient is best for what. You don't want to burn down the house or, you know, mess it up over who's being trying to be right. <clears throat> Maybe a family recipe you guys are trying to get right. And you guys are fighting over it. Who knows? We'll see. Then you have the uh, Queen of Wands reversed. So um, could be dealing with another air sign, an Aquarius Libra Gemini. And you guys are, someone's not gonna, someone's holding back how they feel. Cause with the Queen of Swords in the upright, it's like someone telling it how it is. Someone, you know, they don't give a shit what they say to you or if they hurt your feelings or anything. Um, but it's in reverse, so maybe at your family gathering or for Mother's Day, you guys, someone's going to hold their tongue, not tell you, or you guys are holding back what you need to say to somebody. You're just sitting back. Trying to see what's going on around you, minding your own business, not trying to interfere because, you know, if you try to open your mouth or something, shit's going to go down because <laughs> that's how the air signs are. Trying to hold your tongue for something. And then you guys have the chariot reversed. So someone is going to have to make a decision on where to go in life you could be dealing with like a major decision you don't know which way to go like if you guys are moving or something you don't know if you want to move out of state or being confused on certain things like you just can't make up your mind about something so that's why the chariot came out in reverse like you're like shit i don't know what to do you're kind of like feeling stuck about it so we will clarify those I'm going to use the Crystal Visions deck for clarifications. So I want to clarify the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot. For my air signs. Aquarius, Super Gemini. Air signs. Gemini. 
Ooh, three of swords. Okay, so you could be making a major decision on if you want to move out because you and your loved one or your husband or your boyfriend or something just went through a major breakup. You guys, you know, threw things like threw words to each other, stabbed each other in the heart, in the back, or just led to an awful breakup and you see how he's walking away and she's just feeling so hurt about it. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, another Aquarius, uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini, or um, this could be your, your energy that you're going through with that other person and you're trying to decide whether or not you want to forgive him or move out or leave him and break up for good. So that's, that's something that's been on your mind and you just don't know what to do yet because there's still a lot of things that's happening, especially this full moon, like probably things that you guys have been wanting to say to each other is finally coming out and you guys are feeling like really upset about it and le led to a breakup. And so that's why the chariot's in reverse because you don't know what to do. So uh, let's, let's clarify the queen of swords here. Let's clarify the queen of swords. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Mm. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. So, um, you probably feel like you haven't been working hard enough to achieve something in your work. Maybe um, there was something that you were doing like a project or whatever that hasn't been finished, you haven't been able to finish it, and somebody took notice of that, like, um, I've noticed you haven't worked in a while or something like that, and they want to say, like, um, what's going on? Are you going to be working? Are you going to be getting a job soon? Or something like that. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. And for the rest of you guys, like, maybe they're, you probably feel like you haven't been working hard enough and um, you probably feel like you haven't been putting enough effort in your work or in your project and stuff like that. But um, that could be all mental energy. This could be your energy or this could be someone you know who is an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And you probably have something to say to them like, hey, I'll help you out or something or... You probably feel like telling them, you know what, it's not working out for you. Maybe you should move on, but you're afraid if you say that, you're going to hurt their feelings. So you're kind of like holding back or something. Okay, so let's clarify the Five of Wands. Well, let's see what kind of family drama you guys are going to be going through. <laughs> family drama or drama with friends. Let's see. Whoa, that's way too many cards. Please clarify the Five of Wands. There's a Five of Wands here. Some of you could be into spell casting, and some of you probably feel like you're doing it right. The others feel like you're doing it wrong. No, you need this. No, you need that. Especially during the full moon. Could be rituals. Uh, you guys have the Four of Swords and the king of wands so this could you could be dealing with a fire sign an aries leo sag i'm getting mostly aries and leo energy here um and the four of swords so you could be resting you could have been you know having to put up with all this mess you're like you know what i'm just gonna think about it first let's just lay back think about it resting letting your mind rest for once because you know it's a you're it's an over mode all the time overload constant things are going through your head where you're just like let me lay down for a little bit let me rest let me think about things that way we know exactly what we need to do and not fight over it and then like with the king of wands here um it's fiery energy um it could be a male fire sign probably coming in helping you to retreat or you're laying there thinking about a fire sign um 
he's gonna come in and tell you how it how he feels about you or like you're thinking about meeting up with this fire sign or something like that maybe a secret rendezvous or oh oh whoa I just I just saw that some of you could be casting a spell on a fire sign that you might be into or doing a ritual on a fire sign that you guys are into I don't know you guys are using the full moon for something who knows Ooh, you guys are bad you guys are bad whatever it is I hope you guys know what you're doing so that's why they're like oh, don't do that because this is gonna happen but you're sitting there thinking about it like I really want this guy we'll see all right so I'm gonna use the angel tarot cards to get a message for you guys these are angel tarot cards, but I think they're like tarot, tarot mixed with oracle because they have like the sayings on the bottom. So spirit and universe, what do you have for my air signs? What message do you have for my air signs? Let's see. Oh. oh, that came out. The two of earth. You can take a look at it. Okay, so this is um, earth energy. It says, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. That's, that's what this is about. Like I just said, you guys need to make a decision. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Huh. So you could be needing to make a decision about work or a relationship because of what we talked about here. Um, so it's spirits telling you that um, since there's so much that's going on, maybe so much is going on in your family or whatever, you need time to, you know, think about things through, kick back, relax, meditate a little bit so you can make the right decisions. Um, and maybe consider a more playful approach, like not to take things so serious, maybe be more, I'm saying flirtatious, flirtatious or be creative in, in your decision making, like try not to be so traditional maybe, that's what I'm seeing. Try it in a different way so you can succeed in See, there's a rainbow. So you, whatever you decide on is going to be the best decision you make. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Or this could be just your, your energy, like feeling grounded or something. Feeling ground, the need to feel grounded and make the proper decision. So there you go. This is a very short um, reading. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, please leave your comments down below. I'd like to know if this resonated with you or if you want a private reading. Okie dokie. Toodles.